Hi guys, this is Kevin here from the Geek Review channel and in this video we are going to learn how to install Exposed Framework on our Asus Zenfone 5. Well, my Asus Zenfone 5 is currently running the latest Lollipop version 3.24.40.87 and have a look. So now let's start with beginners. So if in case you are doing anything like routing and unlocking a bootloader anything for the first time so first step one you need to install Intel Android DRV setup so the link for this driver is under step one in the description of the video the second step would be to install minimal ADB fastboot tool so again under step two you will find the link for this minimal ADB then the third step would be to root your phone so if in case you have not rooted your phone yet you will find the link how to root your phone under link 3 and you will even know how to activate USB debugging so you will learn everything in that video just in case if you have not done that then the fourth step would be to unlock your bootloader so under step 4 you will find a link for a tutorial on how to unlock the bootloader so after unlocking the bootloader just in case if your phone has uh, issues such as screen freeze or if the camera is not working then I would recommend you to lock your bootloader and not follow with this tutorial and for those people who are not facing any screen freeze issue or any camera issue they can move ahead with this tutorial so the fifth step would be to download exposed for Zenfone 5 so the link is under step 5 so download this uh, zip file and when you open it you will find TWRP you will find the APK for expose and you will find the zip file so you need you will need it during the installation process so now let's keep it aside so the next step would be to download storage space application and DS file explorer application so once you have done that we will open storage space and uh, the reason we have installed this application is to find out how much system memory do we have in our phone so we need to click on mounted partition and here you see that the system memory is uh, 18 MB free so normally I've read many articles on the internet and they say that we at least need around 50 MB of system memory free and they recommend us to uninstall uh, system applications that we really don't use so we are going to do the same but uh, what we'll do is we'll uninstall thing free application because uh, that one application takes in roughly around 32 to 35 MB of space so we'll take it out and uh, in my uninstall video I'll even teach you how to install that back so you don't have to worry about anything so the next thing is open your ES file explorer and if you are installing it for the first time you need to click on the menu on the top left and you need to scroll all the way down and you need to click on root explorer this will be deactivated by default so the moment you activate it your super SU will ask you to grant the permission so kindly do that so now we will click on device then we will open system folder click on apps so in this folder you will see most of your system application from Asus from Google so we will scroll all the way down and here you see thing free so just hold your finger on the folder and you will get a tick mark so click on more and click on properties so you will see that this folder alone is 36.39 MB so what we'll do is we'll move this folder and we'll create a backup on our PC. I'll show you how to do that. And then in the uninstall video, I'll teach you how to again install it back. So your phone will be totally stock. So now I'll again hold my finger on this folder and I'll copy this and I'll go to my SD card. This is the internal memory. So I'll click on it and out here I'll create a new folder 
I'll name it APK backup and click OK. So here we go. We have created a folder. So open it and out here you can paste the thing free folder. So in my case, my phone is currently connected to my laptop. So I won't be able to copy this immediately to my laptop. So all I need to do is I need to unplug my phone and connect it back to the laptop. If in case your phone was not connected to the laptop, you can connect it right now and transfer the file. But if it was already connected, you just have to make sure that you have to reconnect it or unplug and replug it to transfer the file. And once I do that, when I open my internal memory or internal storage, I see the APK backup file. So what I'll do is I'll create a backup of this file on my PC as well. So there you go, I have created a backup of this file. So now the next step would be to go back to device, system, app, thing free and uh, first we'll go to settings, go to apps. And here, and here you need to scroll all the way down to locate thing free. Here you go. So out here, when you open this app, if in case you find any data, then you can just clear the data. It'll even clear the catch. And all you need to do is click on four stop. If in case it's running. In my case, it's not running, so you can click on four stop and that's it. Then again, we need to go to our ES file explorer and you don't have to delete this folder. Let the folder be. We'll just delete the library file and thing free APK because we already have a backup of this. So all we'll do is we'll click on delete and press OK. And now if we click on the storage space app and if we check the mounted partition, so you will see that we have 54 MB of uh, system memory free. So the next step would be to go to the expose for Zenfone 5 folder and you need to copy the APK and the zip file to your phone's internal memory. So we have done that now. So now we need to get the phone to droid boot mode. So we can give a command in the folder itself. So press shift and press right click on your mouse and select open command window here. And you can give a command adb reboot reboot bootloader so once we give this command the phone will restart into bootloader so now we'll flash twrp recovery so the command will be fast boot flash recovery twrp dot img and press enter
so now let's go to recovery mode so we have to do this manually And now we need to click on install. And scroll all the way down. And here you see the export zip file. So click on it. And swipe to install. Now we can select reboot system. So now after installing Expose Zip, we need to go to Settings, click on Security and here we need to switch on Unknown Sources. And then we need to go to File Manager and install the APK. And as you can see, it's showing that Expose Framework version 79 is active. Since we have installed the Expose zip file, we don't need to install any updates. So there you go, you have successfully installed Exposed on your Asus Zenfone 5 Lollipop 3.24.40.78. So if you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, that's Geek Review. And the next video will be on how to safely and successfully uninstall Exposed so that you can get back to stock again. So stay tuned for that. This is Kevin signing off from Geeky Review.